I'm going to have a special guest today giving me some uh, stats on yesterday's game against the Falcons. Here with us we have Leatherface. Okay, that's real lovely. Anyway, yeah, while I play these uh, video games, Leatherface is going to be giving us the stats from yesterday's day. I am going to do multiple things at once. First off, welcome to the uh, the sexy, drunken, 49ers, super fun time fan show! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. And yes, I'm going to be going over yesterday's game, but at the same time, I'm going to be playing some NES. I'm sorry if uh, the camera's not picking it up too good, but you know how these old TVs are. And <laughs> I could go out and get the wire and hook it up to the computer, my Mac and all that shit, but you know what? Why do that, baby? What's the... <laughs> I want to I go old school here, toots. For anybody that's ever played this game, you know how shitty this game is. Uh, I'm, an, I'm a fan of the AVGN, if there's any other fans Ooh. out there. I'm sure you've seen the video. I actually haven't played this game in a long time. Probably like a good 10 years. Am I supposed to be shooting these things and like getting things? I don't even know. I never even came close to beating this before. This is one of those games to me that I turn, you know, I'd play for a little bit, get frustrated, die, and then that's it. Don't play it ever again. Because it is ridiculous. Oh my god. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> no continues. No, nothing. You get one life. Wow, okay. I totally forgot about that. Wow. Holy shit. I mean, seriously, who, who makes a game like that? For, and for kids, like... Did you think that was a good idea? Okay. Um, next game. I can breathe in it. You don't need no damn Q-tips. But today I'm going with one of my favorite beer companies, Evil Genius Chocolate Pumpkin Porter. I love this. I, I drank it in a bottle when it first came out, but I never had it in a can. Uh, and you might be thinking to yourself, chocolate pumpkin, that sounds gross. Well, it's actually not. I do not remember this game at all, but it's kind of like Super Mario. <laughs> but not Super Mario <laughs> crack. <laughs> I don't know what to do right now. Am I supposed to jump on those blue things, or am I supposed to... Let me give that another shot. All I got for a weapon is this crappy little sword. Those got... Everything's so... Oh, wait, do I have... What was that? Oh, you can... Oh, I can kill this thing. But, did I... Can I... When they shoot those... Throw those swords at me, can I hit that back towards them? Is that what's going on? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, cool. Is there any time limit? There is no time limit. Okay. Yeah, this is one of those games that, um, that all of a sudden you're going through your collection of games and you're just like, where the hell did this come from? And you don't know how it got there. And show y'all someday. Whoa! The screen Ooh. just fucking had a seizure. Okay. By the way, I finally went out and bought a 49ers glass. Let's play some fucking Castlevania. Classic. 
Now, I gotta admit, I know this game is classic. And it's a game, you know, I've been playing Nintendo my whole life, and I'm not showing any signs of stopping. But I was always more into, you know, I like Contra. I always, I still play Tech Mobile all the time. People like Super Tech Mobile, but I actually like the original Tech Mobile better. How do I get out of here? What do I do? I have no idea how to end this level. Where do I go? Where am I supposed to go? I don't remember. Do I just keep walking? Oh my god. Really? It's, uh, how the hell do I get out of here? I didn't know that this game was so confusing. I thought it was just left to right, but apparently not. Am I going around in circles? Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> wait a minute. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with this game. I think I'm embarrassing myself. There's probably people out there now watching going, Oh my god, he sucks. Well, kind of hard to play this and talk at the same time. Oh no. Uh, another game that I can't stand. See, I never knew what the hell I was doing in this game until uh, until I watched the ABGN. <laughs> and you know what? I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Son of a whore. What I'm doing right now is unintentionally reacting. I mean, reenacting my childhood playing this game. Like, what am I supposed to be doing right now? <laughs> this game really does suck. I mean... I understand it was like, what, 1984 when this came out, or 85, 86, 87, who knows? Come on, you could have done better than this. You really could have. It's just so bad, it's so horrible. Like, that's what you do. Like I said, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with this game, or any of these games, please watch the Angry Video Game Nerd do them, because... You'll, he d goes into detail and, you know, he, he really shows you how truly shitty these games are. Oh my god. So lame. We ran out of gas, so the Ghostbusters are getting out and pushing their car to the destination. Anyway, I'm done with this fucking game. No, I don't have a password. Deadly Towers. Oh my god, this game sucks already. Yeah, another one that I'm not too familiar with, but ABGN did a video on it. Holy shit. Right, is this the game that you have to put a password in every single time you die? Oh my god. Okay, the hell with you then. You would just look at the picture, you know, on, and look, when I say the picture, I mean the one on the cartridge, and be like, mm, yeah, okay, sure, I'll try it out, I'll get it. <laughs> it's only three dollars, why not? And then the good thing was, you know, a lot of those games, if you didn't like it, you know, you could bring it back the next day and sell it for pretty much the same price that you bought it for, so. There's one... <clears throat> there was two games, though, that I asked for for Christmas, and this is the late 90s, so the games were like 10 bucks each. Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street. And anybody that's actually played those games, you know what I'm about to say right now. The games are fucking awful. So, yeah, we got those. I asked for them for Christmas because they... Funko Land, they had a little list of all the games that they had there in stock. And I would take the list home and literally circle which games I wanted. And I try not to go too crazy. You know, I, I asked for like, I don't know, about 15 games, let's just say. And got about 10 that I asked for. And when I played the Friday the 13th and the St Nightmare on Elm Street, I was just like, oh my god. These games are fucking awful. Well, I took them back to Funko Land, 
got my money back or, or exchanged them for other games, which by the way, exchanging those two games in, I was able to get like five or six more other games. So, wow, this game is actually hard, but I could see where it could be good. It has potential. But I regret that decision because now those games are actually pretty fucking hard to find. Huh? And they're not cheap. Huh? Alright, now we're going to try a game that I am very familiar with because I play it every October. Alright, Beetlejuice. Now a lot of people don't like this game. It's an LJN game. But I actually like it. I really do. It, don't get me wrong, it can get Ooh. frustrating. Ooh. I never did beat the whole thing. I got pretty fucking close though. I think I got to like the last level, but then couldn't get past it. Oh, see, I, I hate that so much. It's so frustrating. But yeah, I play this every October and it's, it's playable. It's not as bad as people say. It's just short and sweet. There's like what, five or six levels, and yeah, it gets ridiculously hard, and I think you gotta stand on the edge of this. Jump up there. Okay. Okay. But yeah, I play this every October, and no, still never beat it. But, um... Someday, I, I feel like I'm gonna sit down and try to make the time. Find the time to just fucking really sit down and, oh, I hate that about this game. The ground is right there. Yeah, I died. Uh, if that camera goes up, and all of a sudden there's no floor. It's definitely got its flaws. But you know what I like to do? I like to do this right here. Just stomp, stomp, and stomp. Just keep stomping away at these bugs. And get as many points as possible and I'll let you know why in a little bit basically you go inside this store here and then for every bug that you stepped on you get vouchers help vouchers right now I have 620 I could buy this Medusa head for a hundred the Birdman head for 150 and the skeleton which is the best one to buy for 250 and I will buy one. Alright, I just bought two of them. But I need more, baby. Give me some sugar, baby. <sighs> and the skull head, by the way, what it's good for is you can actually shoot huh? with it on. I can oh. demonstrate for you right now. Bam! I just used one. And now watch. Now I'm a skeleton, watch this. Now I could shoot this bees hive there and take the elevator down. What's in this hole again? Ah! So I shouldn't have came down here, but sometimes it's good to come down. Oh! Eep, eep. Come on, come on, come on, come on, you son of a... Smile, you son of a... He hit me from below, but yet I died. Okay. You son of a... I only have one more game, and I'm saving the best for last, because out of all these games, and once again, this is another LJN game that no one seems to like for some reason, but I actually like this game, and yes, Jaws. I like this game. People complain about it, say it has, it's nothing like the movie. It's it's definitely based on Jaws 4, by the way. So here we go. I'm just going to beat the whole fucking thing for you right now. You know, it, it could be a little frustrating. There's things that don't make any sense, like... You've hit something, so that means you have to go dive to see what it was. I don't know why, you know... I guess if you, they gave you a choice... You know, later on when you got a lot of the conch... Or con conch shells... Um, are they conch or conch? I don't even know. I feel like an idiot right now. Well, I am, so it doesn't matter. But when you collect enough of those shells, you have to collect as many as possible. Because every time you collect one, you could trade it in for 
uh, power up. It's basically uh, so your 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 power can get raised, so you can kill Jaws quicker. Right now, you start off with power one, and I'd say to beat Jaws, you probably have to be at like a seven, you know. But obviously, the higher you go, the, the quicker and easier it is. But seven is that's the goal. That's that's what you want because that's where it's possible to beat them. The annoying part about this game is you have to keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Collect shells and then drive your boat to the right, uh, what do you call it, like a port. And then once you go to the right, then you got to collect more shells, shells, and then go to the one on the left. And then rinse and repeat. Collect shells, and by the way, you can't just keep going right, left, right, left. You have to have enough shells, because if you don't have enough shells, they're going to tell you, you don't have enough shells. And of course, you got these random bonus scenes, which, you know, you can get shells this way, too. The more of these jellyfish that you kill. And I would say the main problem with this game is, a lot of times when you're playing, you forget which direction you're going in. Like... I'm spo I, I still I gotta remember I'm going right. See? So when you come out of it, okay. And here's the port up here. See? Boom. See first they give you a receiver. And see how my shells disappeared? So now I gotta go get more shells. But you gotta hurry up and just get to the other port now on the left. So you can now start powering up. And if you die, you start over with the um, you'd have to get the receiver again and then get back to getting power-ups again I usually don't even care about those things see I forgot already am I going left or right I'm going left <laughs> I see that's where this game sucks because there's times where you'll go forget if you're going left or right because if you go back right again go up there nothing will happen you have to go left, right, left, right. All right, so now I got a power up, but now Jaws is following me, but I don't want to hit him yet because I'm not strong enough to beat him yet. All right, I made it there without having to stop, so that's a good thing. Now my power level is at three already, but I don't want to hit Jaws, and right now I have no shells, so I need shells. Let's get those. Conch shells. <laughs> conch, conch. Who cares? Yeah, I never bother getting the stars. There's actually, um, there was actually one time in my brother's retro corner. I was trying to. I was like, you know what? Because I was tired of everybody breaking my records in all these games. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play Jaws. And see how high of a record I can get there. You need more conch shells, see? Oh, and hitting something in this shallow part is what you really don't want to do. Because look, now I got less room to work with. Killing me, Smalls. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You just got to shoot really fast, that's all. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, these baby sharks. You're always going to get a shell out of it. Always. But the stingrays, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Jellyfish, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Bonus scene again. Ugh. But yeah, that's the hard part. Remembering, shit, was I going left? Was I going right? Because if you're coming from the right side and then you go through all this and then forget, and, and you're supposed to be going to the left side and you forget and all of a sudden you start going towards the right again, you're going to get to that port just to find out that you just wasted your time and went there for nothing. And now you got to try to go across the ocean and not hit Jaws once again. Or anything else for that matter. And it's always frustrating when you have a lot of shells and you're trying to do it. But um, sometimes, you know what I do? I'll have like a marker in front of me or a pen. And see, wait a minute. Wait a minute! Oh, you bastard. 
apparently I was supposed to go left. <laughs> and, and there's a little bit of a glitch with Jaws here. If you go above him, he can't get you for some reason. I don't know if it's like that intentionally or what, but but now I gotta worry about the baby Jaws because he can get me at the top of the water. Yeah. Doing pretty good though, huh? Didn't die not once yet. Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to be going left. After I was just talking about it, how you can forget, but that's perfect. I see a submarine over there that you can grab and it makes you move faster and it's pointless. You don't have to get it. Oh, come on with the shallow shit, man. Now I see, once again, I forgot. I don't know if I'm going right or left. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna take a stab at it. And See, what's fucked up is my boat is facing upward when I got hit there. So you would think, oh, you know, just go in the direction that your boat's facing. But no, they, they fuck with you. Your boat will be facing a different fucking direction when I come out of this water level here. It's not right, damn it. They fuck with you. But, uh, you know, that's what I like about this game. It's challenging. You know, it's annoying. But that means challenging. That means you, you gotta be paying attention at all times, or you're fucked. You gotta have good agility and a good awareness, you know. I, I kind of feel like I'm a football player out here. In the, but, you know, underwater, instead of dodging tacklers, I'm dodging <laughs> stingrays and jellyfish. <laughs> you kind of want to stay away from the bottom, because it's a good way to get hit. And I'm sure it's going to happen at some point because I like to, I like to uh, push my luck sometimes. And... Yep, I knew it. I'm going left. Okay, left it is. Ah! It's not right. It's not right, man. Oh, God. Just going to put all the things I like into one video. Video games, horror, beer, and football. I have no idea if I'm going left or right again. Is it left? <laughs> I think it's right. It fucking better be. It's not! I did it again! <laughs> okay. Pause. I'm pausing the game this time. Alright, I got my 49ers rubber ducky. It's facing left. Go left. I mean, they had to do it that way, though. Because if they didn't, then you would come out and then turn around and go right back into the same port and you could just you would be able to do that so easily but then one might question might ask the question what's the point of doing the whole port and power up thing anyway it's stupid but it's a game like everybody loves super mario brothers you know but does it really make any sense that you're go you're a plumber going through time warps and jumping on creatures heads and trying to rescue a princess and collecting mushrooms like that doesn't make any sense either so but it's a good game so you don't you don't ask why when you're a kid and you're playing these games you just play it and you have a good time doing it you know and that's the well, that's what I did with this game I didn't say oh it's not like the movie or oh this is stupid why am I collecting shells that doesn't make any sense who cares? It's fun. Why are you collecting fruit as Pac-Man? You know? Why do you need to ask these questions? Just fucking play the game and shut the fuck up. Just like, just like football. I enjoy the goddamn ride. We have Kyle Shanahan as a coach right now. Are, do you not remember what it was like when we had Tom Sula and Chip Kelly? Remember those years? How bad they were? I forgot to turn the duck around. You son of a bitch. But did you forget about those years? We should be enjoying this. Okay, so we're not winning the Super Bowl every year. So s since we've got Shanahan, we went to a Super Bowl but lost it. We went to the NFC Championship and lost it. At least we got there. Do you remember what it was like with those other coaches? How our season would be over at this time of year? going 0-5 or 1-5, like, it was depressing. 
It was depressing and it was embarrassing. I was embarrassed to be a 49ers fan. I still rocked my jerseys. Anytime people asked me what, what my favorite team was, I said 49ers. I never ever strayed away from them, never became a fan of another team. I never, I never jumped ship. I'm not one of those fucking bandwagon fans. And I used to hate those fans because it was always those fans that would make fun of me for being a 49ers fan. And it's like, oh yeah, well at least I have a team. You, you root for a different fucking team every year. I'm like, who, fuck you. And of course, I got a lot of Giants and Jets fans and Patriots fans. Yeah, the 2000s was not easy growing up in this area because all the Patriots fans coming out of the woodwork. It's like, dude, what? Don't tell me you were a Patriots fan in the fucking 80s and 90s. Get out of here with that shit. Once in a great blue moon, you meet one, you know. But that's it. It's like, you know damn well you became a fan after the Tom Brady shit. And after the Bill Belich, after the Super Bowls. Probably after the third Super Bowl is when you became a fan. Enjoy the ride. <clears throat> Shanahan's our coach. We're, at least we're a playoff team every year, you know. I, I'd rather do what we're doing right now for the next five years. Getting to the playoffs... Getting to the NFC Championship, but then losing. Or getting to the Super Bowl, and then losing. I'd rather do that for the next five years. I really would. Than our season being over in the middle of October. And people laughing at me. You're a 49ers fan? <laughs> Why? They suck. We're not getting laughed at anymore now. Who can laugh at us? Seriously. It's definitely not Giants and Jets fans. They can't laugh at us anymore. As a matter of fact, I don't even think Patriots fans can laugh lately. Ooh, yeah, I seen that coming. I tried to go back left, but I couldn't. Damn it. But that's the only problem about this game. Well, the main problem. I wish you didn't have to stop every time you hit something. Obviously, if you can... <laughs> oh, man, now I died twice in a row. Oh, no. Oh, and by the way, every time you die, you lose shells, too, by the way. Actually, I, I believe you lose, like, half of your shells. You're killing me, Smalls. Oh, you've hit something. You've hit something. Who gives a fuck? I'm in a boat. Let me stay in my goddamn boat. And it's not like the boat crashed, because then all of a sudden I teleport back up there again. I think the drunker I'm getting, the worse I'm getting at this game. <laughs> Uh, please don't hit me. Fuck you, Jaws. Oh, come on! Just let me get there already! I swear it's like they know. Really? But yeah, we're in good hands right now. We have a good coach. We have a good team. We have one of the best defenses in the NFL, if not the best defense in the NFL. Um, okay, our offense... Struggles to get downfield. We have to dink and dunk sometimes. We have to get creative. We have to use our wide receiver like a running back sometimes. Okay, no problem. We have the best tight end in the NFL that isn't quite what he used to be, but I don't know. Maybe he's nursing an injury and doesn't want to get re-injured again. So maybe maybe he's more valuable <clears throat> uh, playing on the field and just blocking rather than being on the sideline, injured again, and, you know, out the whole fucking season again, you know, maybe it makes more sense to just keep him out there as a blocker, because he's awesome as a blocker, and we need as much blocking as possible. Can I just pause this and turn that duck around real quick? <laughs> I remember this time. But yeah, I say just enjoy the ride. Maybe we'll win the Super Bowl, maybe we won't. But at least we're not being laughed at anymore. You know what I mean? Shanahan's goal when he came in here was to bring a winning culture back to the 49ers. And he did. I know he's, he's, he's lost more games than one as a coach for us. And I still find that kind of weird. But it shouldn't really count because we had like two seasons there where everyone was hurt. And we also had uh, a season there where, you know, it was rebuild, so it shouldn't really count. And I think a lot of time, there was a couple of years there where 
I don't know, feels like maybe we were tanking on purpose just so we can get high draft picks. Because we built this team from nothing. We got rid of everybody from Team Balky. And yeah, I would say for the past maybe three, four years, we have a team. <clears throat> but now the problem is getting over that hump. And it's not easy. It's not easy. See that? My boat was facing right. But I'm supposed to be going left. Mm -hmm. See how they fuck you over? <clears throat> Alright, no, my power's at six. I'm gonna try one more time. You know what? I, I think I could beat Jaws with six. I'm just gonna sit right here and wait for the motherfucker to come and get me. Get out of my way! Or you'll pay. Listen to what I say. Ugh, gotta keep focus. Smile, you son of a... Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, these... Smile, you son of a bitch. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, now see how you get three strobes. You get three chances to stab him. And I pressed the button too fucking early. Oh, I pressed it too early again. So now that means I have one chance to do this. Okay. You son of a bitch. Technically right now I'm the sheriff's wife. No, 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 not yet. So you another, once again, you don't get a time limit here. So, you know, this is cool. We could do this, baby. Come on, baby. Here we go. Come right to me. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Oh, bam! With one shot left. One chance left. Game over. Fuck you. Alright, so... We're gonna... Put this video to an end for today. Uh... I don't know how the hell we lost to the Falcons, but um, it is what it is. Uh, next week we play the Chiefs, so stay tuned for next week's video. Uh, go Niners!